the NCD Governor Powers Pakop in his address condemned the violent behavior and disrespect of men towards women and girls on the streets that continue to threaten their safety. It's been a big you know, offense to women and girls because they have been the main victims of violence, fear and harassment. Our people for a long time, especially women and girls, not allowed to live normal lives. They have to look over their shoulders all the time. They have to worry about the next corner, whether they're going to be safe around the corner or at the markets or in the workplace or going to school or coming back from school. Or he commended the UN Women's Initiative and urged men and boys to actively participate in the campaign. A campaign he said was vital because it played a huge role in achieving one of NCD's priorities, making Port Moresby a safer place. We must end fear, we must end harassment and we must end violence and we must embrace peace. UN Women Country Representative Dr. Jeffrey Butchinen expressed similar sentiments. Port Moresby is a great city, we have a great leader, we have great people and together we're going to create a new normal in a behaviour change campaign where men and boys and women and girls work with all of our citizens to make this a really safe city. Internationally renowned hip-hop artist and now newly appointed youth champion protege also challenged men and boys to join the campaign. I challenge all the men, all the boys out there. We have a responsibility to really, to really step up and uh, to really be the example, be the change that we hope to see in PNG, in our city. Youth champion representative Bronwyn Kelly spoke on behalf of youths in a pledge to work towards achieving the campaign's goals. We stand together to say that we have a right to a public, to, to a safe public space, to safe public transit, to safe markets, to safe streets, safe buses, and safe places of work. I support the Son of One Term campaign. Melissa Gaviro, National MTV News.